A man in southeast Edmonton is now part of space history. That's because he's one of the few people in Alberta to be in possession of a meteorite. Evan Kenny has a story. All of a sudden I heard this loud bang like somebody slamming a hockey stick butt end into the roof. That's what Doug Olson heard from his house in Mill Woods back in the fall of 2022. So I came out the window, looked around all over on the roof, couldn't see nothing. He stopped searching for the cause of the sound, but he never forgot about it. This past spring, Olson was cleaning his eaves troughs. And then I thought, geez, I'm going to go take another look up on top there. That's when Olson discovered the noise from the year before was a meteorite hitting his house. And it hit right about here. The homeowner brought the rock to Chris Hurd, a meteorite expert and a professor at the University of Alberta. This is the, the end, the outside of the original rock, and this has the classic hallmarks of a meteorite. To most people, the meteorite may have looked like an ordinary rock, but not to Olson. That's because he's found something similar before while in the bush hunting. Chris still thinks there's some investigating to do, like the isotopes oxygen testing. But for me to have to hear it and hear the impact and chase it down and pick it up and hear it, smell the sulfur and stuff, you know, to, to me it's a meteorite. A chunk of it is now part of the U of A's meteorite collection. And to show how rare this is, this is the first witnessed fall of a meteorite in Alberta since 1977 and the 18th ever found in the province. My reaction was, yeah, this is the real deal. Like this, I instantly know. We get hundreds of these types of emails every year or inquiries every year of people who think they found meteorites and like 99.9% .9 of them are not. Olson's calling it an out of this world experience. Like being hit by lightning twice. Evan Kenny, CTV News, Edmonton.